Hi guys, it's me, Rusty78609, Central Texas, USA. I'm already at my tasting event today. It's about 11.30 a.m. Sunday morning, May 21st, 2016, and I'm still here. And today I'm doing a tasting for this lovely puppy right here, Vindicated it's Vindicated Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon 2013. And uh, it's actually 14.8% alcohol, which is pretty high. But uh, I think the price on it is $5 off per bottle a day here at the store in Central Texas. And uh, it's $14.98, so it's uh, probably going to be a pretty good Cabernet. And, uh, but anyway, I can't start till noon, 12 noon, because I'm in Texas, and the liquor laws are you cannot buy wine and beer until 12 o'clock on Sundays, and that's just the way it is. So, having said all that, what else is going on? Uh, well, my internet is still out, my Wi-Fi is still off for you subscribers that have heard all my crap before. Uh, what else is going on? Oh, I was using the uh, my smartphone as a mobile hotspot. It works okay. Uh, I live in a rural area. I live out in the country, so my signal strength is not really that good. And uh, how you doing, though? And uh, so it's okay. I mean, so what I'm going to do now? I'm probably going to go back to the rise broadband wi-fi because they tell me they've got some new technology they're going to bring out on tomorrow morning and that'll help but then they're also going to upgrade to lte sometime in the next 12 months which that should solve my internet problems uh, for the indefinite future which i'm glad will happen because i'm uh, you know now with this job right here internet access is mandatory Everything's done over the internet. I've never met any of these people I contract with. But be that as it may, Vindicated Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon. So, S-O. So, that, that word's always hard for me to pronounce. I've been doing this for four years. But anyway, what else is going on? Uh, oh, I saw, I saw a deal by... I saw part of Donald Trump's speech to the NRA. I'm a Trump man. I'm, I'm a Trumper, and I'm pro-Trump. And uh, anyway, he uh, he made a comment which I thought was interesting <clears throat> because his opponent Hillary, typical liberal, she's not for the Second Amendment as far as taking guns away from people. She's kind of for that, not kind of. She is. And Donald Trump suggested that if she really means that or she believes in her stance, then what she should do is uh, tell all of her Secret Service agents and all of her other people that are protecting her to leave their weapons at home. And I thought that was pretty good. That's a damn good point. You know, why go halfway? Why have two rules? You know, why, why is she protected and wanting us not to be able to protect ourselves? You know, if you're in a situation, particularly in a city, where your house is being burglarized or maybe it's a carjacking or whatever, you know, you don't, you don't have time to call the police and wait for them to arrive. The burglar's not going to be put on hold. you got to take care of business, you know? And, uh, you know, do we have that problem in the hill country of Texas, central Texas, where I live? Not very often, not that I'm aware of. But for you people that live in cities, I mean, I, I, I very well, I empathize with you. you know, I, I couldn't live in any large city without being armed, not only in my car, but in my home also, all the time. Why? I would just feel safer, that's all. So anyway, having said all that, what else is happening in the world that I'm aware of? Well, I did a kind of an informal poll on, uh, I've done a lot of tasting events in this month, and uh, I just kind of did an informal uh, survey of the people in this area, Central Texas about what they're, they're, they think about this transgender issue. <laughs> they think President Obama ought to be uh, kicked out of office, you know. They ought to start a, a movement to impeach him. You 
you know, I, I think they ought to impeach the whole administration. But be, having said all that, you folks have a good day. I'm going to have one. I'm just burning daylight till 12 noon when I can buy this product and get this thing started. And uh, thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios amigos. And bye bye. That's a lovely face, isn't it? I love that. Anyway, enjoy your day, folks. Bye.